All right, good morning everybody. I'm Tim from Stryker. I'm here with the InTouch ICU bed and we have a good crowd built up in the room. So I'm going to walk you through a couple things, all friends. So I'm super comfortable doing this, but I want to walk you through a couple things that um, you're going to have to do when you clean these beds, specifically with strapping the mattress down. This is a change in process when you turn over the ICU rooms. So um, what we're trying to alleviate is the mattress from sliding down to the end of the bed, which is causing some hiccups with the mat or the uh, bed frame footboard connecting to the actual frame, and it's causing some issues with nursing. So rather than having nursing pull the mattresses up, try to slam down the footboard, we added straps to the back of the mattress, and let's go ahead and take a look at that real quickly, okay? So as you're turning over these rooms, every bed is going to have a set of straps, just like you see here. Now the goal of the straps is to keep this mattress perfectly positioned on the frame. Over the course of one patient day, this head headrest, this backrest, goes up and down over nine times, and that means that there's a lot of migration. The mattress wants to slide down, so the straps will hold the mattress up. If you look over here, we have one already strapped. Pull this as tight as can be. We have this one unstrapped, okay? So it's just like a belt buckle. You have two D-rings. You go through the hole in the backrest, back up through both D-rings, and then back out one, and then pull it tight like we have over here, okay? That'll ensure the mattress is always in the correct position. Now over here, when you come to turn the, to the room over, and you have to undo the straps to clean under the mattress, we want you just to push on that top strap. See how I push on that top D-ring right there? That gives me the slack I need to go ahead and feed that strap through, and then I can pull this out. It'll take about 30 minutes extra. I can pull this out, get this off, and now I can lift this up and wipe everything down, okay? So we're good there. Just make sure that after it's dry underneath the mattress, you strap those down nice and tight, okay? Um, one of the other issues that we want to talk about is no mattress detected on the footboard. And this is really more a function for nursing. It's something they run into, they come into the room, they come down to the foot end screen, they click on surfaces, and the first thing they see is no mattress detected. Anytime you see no mattress detected, you should think no power. That's essentially what it's trying to tell you is, I don't have power. So the first thing you do is make sure that the bed frame is plugged in. The coil cord in the back, should be plugged into down here into the blue outlet that says for bed use only. So make sure that's plugged in. Also, where that cord goes into the frame, it can be unplugged. So make sure that that right there is also tight and plugged in properly. Coming down here to the foot end, <clears throat> the mattress plugs into the frame under the patient foot left section, right next to the dual outlets that you have for accessories. So your SCD pumps and wound backs. You have two outlets here on this receptacle, then you have a single outlet on this receptacle right next to the data cord. The gray cord here allows the mattress to communicate to the frame and vice versa. This bed power cord should always be plugged into the single outlet. It's, it's actually different than this receptacle here. Okay, So you always want to have your bed plugged in right next to the communication cable. In addition to that, you want to make sure that this communication cable is nice and tight. Okay. Um, if everything is tight, everything is plugged in, and you still have no mattress detected, what we want you to do is a, a multi-step process to cycle power. Okay, so essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take this data cable off. I'm going to unplug the mattress. I'm going to reach under the bed, and there's a power switch, a battery power switch. And I'm going to turn that off. And you'll see if you peek under the bed, it's a big black switch. Flip that off, so now the battery is off. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come on over here and I'm going to unplug the bed. And now I'm going to wait 10 seconds. So after 10 seconds, you go ahead and follow that same process. Plug everything back in. Pretend that 10 seconds went by. We plug in the frame. We come down here and we plug in our receptacle bed outlet into the single outlet. And then we put on our gray communication cable, and then I reach underneath, and I turn that battery power back on. That will cycle the power, it restarts this mattress CPU board, and 98% of the time it's going to go ahead and clear that no mattress detected, and you're good to go 
moving forward. So that's it. Thank you.